Welcome back to the Stock Market College virtual tutorial series. Tonight I'll be doing a virtual tutorial on the Stochastic Indicator. First of all open up your Quick Charts Professional Program by clicking on the blue icon. Then select a chart. I'm going to select Mr. Price. Okay, I like to maximize the chart. Okay, quite a nice trend there. Then the stochastic indicator is situated between RSI and volume price. Alright, I select six months. I've taken the liberty of putting in the stochastic 20 buy line and 80 sell line okay stochastic how the stochastic is formulated is in a rising trend prices tend to close near the high of the day therefore the stochastic will increase as we see over here and over here and over here and even over there and if you look at the corresponding trends beneath you'll see there were upward trends there was strength in those trends every time they went from 20 to 80 or they increased in value on the converse when we trend down through 80 you'll see beneath that the price actually decreases in value okay so stochastic when prices are increasing and closing closer to the high of the day, the stochastic will increase. When prices are closing closer to the low of the day, they will decrease. How would you, you would use this as a confirmatory indicator is when the price moves up through the moving averages that they did over a year, you would wait for the stochastic to cross up above this 20 buy line. Aggressive traders will, will buy off the... Um, off the 20 line, some will wait for it to cross through the moving averages. But above 20 is buy, below 20 sell. Now, we get what's termed overbought and oversold positions um, with stochastics. In other words, the trend moves above 80. This doesn't mean that you necessarily sell automatically because it can stay above 80 and trend above you up and down for quite some time. Um, you would basically look for it to cross beneath 20 and possibly uh, move below through the moving averages depending on your strategy you know some traders will close when it's below um, 80 and others will wait for it to to cross through the moving averages as well likewise when it crosses below 20 sometimes on a stock it can stay below 20 for some time in other words it will cross below the 20 sell line and uh, and continue down in, in the price for uh, you know quite a few percent while it's still below 20 so as long as it stays below the 20 sell line you can hold this um, position if you if, if you're short um, but if you are long and you've bought over here and you want to sell if it as long as it stays above 80 you can actually hold that position long until it makes a break below 80. Looking at Mr. Price at the moment, you can see that uh, Mr. Price is situated on the stochastic. If you look in the walk in the uh, walking line box to my left, the stochastic is is at 80.18. So it is just above the sell line. It hasn't confirmed a sell yet. It's moved through the moving averages. It's still above 80, and the uh, the price is uh, hovering around the seven-day moving average, still above the 14 and 21. So this is the the beginning signs of a reversal of trend of a possible sell-off in the stock um, but you know it hasn't confirmed yet on the stochastic it needs to close below 80 and trend down like it did over year and over year so watch this level closely and in future looking at stocks look for the confirmation on the close below 80 I hope you enjoyed this indicator it's one that I personally use quite extensively especially when I trade uh, um, Aussie futures uh, I, I use the stochastic I love this indicator um, I find it reads the the heart of the, the, the underlying trend of a stock very well uh, it will guide you 
um, very very nicely through your trading uh, add it to your technical analysis arsenal use it I do uh, I swear by it um, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, I'll speak to you soon